right. This this tree is in honor of my granddaughter, Braley Theron Murray, um, who died. She was 19 months old when she died in on September 29th of 1997. And um, some friends, she, um, she was buried here, and some friends from California of Lynn and Kevin Murray, her parents, wanted to have a tree dedicated to her, and so they decided that this would be the park. And they have a plaque, they had a plaque made, and so it has been here since 1997. She died very suddenly from meningitis, and she was the uh, first, their first child, and uh, it was really a, a terrible surprise and a very big tragedy for our family. And it's been wonderful for me because um, I can come down and I can see the tree, and when they come into town, everybody comes down to see the tree. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a really special tree. So what's your feelings uh, with what Christmas done? Well, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be really nice. I, I was concerned about the tree itself, with the, with this being, you know, here. But what I see, I see beauty here, and and I feel that. Uh, and then Kristen had said that it's so peaceful when you're working here, and I just know that it's peaceful because the spirit of Braley is here, and and I just love that. And um, my and Lynn and Kevin are they are, are fully with her for, for doing this. And uh, I see um, families coming here and the little kids looking at all the stuff and some mother saying, "Can you find the starburst?" And you know that kind of thing. So I really think it's gonna um, I think it's gonna be nice for everyone. So how do you feel if you want the construction to go ahead? Well, I would, yes, and I and I called Lynn today. I talked to Lynn today, and they are in full agreement as well. So, um, and it looks, it, I think it's going to be really nice for the park itself. Well, knowing the story behind the tree definitely explains some of the things that have been happening energetically here because mm -hmm. all I can say is I don't know how things came together for this project but there are so many coincidences that occurred that maybe mm -hmm. maybe that explains how everything came together I mean for example um, just when I thought we were going to be able to have enough funds to do it somebody would donate cement just when I thought we wouldn't have enough volunteers a lot of people would show up and mm -hmm. say hey what are you doing and mm -hmm. everything came together flawlessly mm -hmm. so I know it. Out for us. I think I think Braley is is looking down and saying, "You go, girl." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I really do think so. Yeah, and I think it will continue to be that way for you. And if you, if everything goes, you're a gentle person, and so you're not in for the big the big fight. And so if you if you carry that through, and then you'll have our prayers to that everything is going to be. Yeah, I appreciate that because obviously this wasn't started to push any buttons, and no, it has. And I don't have enough no. energy to deal no. <laughs> by myself, anyways. Right, right. right. Yeah. And no, you know, a project like this shouldn't be a fight because it's too lovely. And all of these people, all the kids that worked on it, you said, and everybody that comes and helps on it, it can't be a bad thing, can it? No, no. I don't think so. I mean, no. but at the same time, maybe this is where we need to be. We have the community to come together to fight for something like, well, not fight, but protect something like this. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope people see it that way. Yeah. You, you can't can't make people think what you want them to think, but let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope with our positive, with a positive <laughs> that that will. Well, one of my ideas was to raise the vibrations around the tree to such a high frequency that whenever people came to try to destroy it, they'd be. Like, I don't want to destroy it, but I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, just, I think Braley won't let it happen. I don't think so. No, I think her spirit is here, and I really don't think it will. That means a lot. That's yeah. pretty cool to know. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. We're very, we're a very spiritual family, yeah. and um, and I, I really think I think it's fine. And meeting you was really nice. Yeah. You know, talking to you on the phone, I could tell on the phone. Thank you.
Yeah, well, so happy to hear from you too, because like I said, when we started, we saw the plaque here, and I was thinking, who's Braley? I mean, are they going to be ups Is this family going to be upset yeah. if we build this, this bench around the tree? And we went to the parks and said, is there any record of this, um, of who put this plaque here? And they said, no, we don't know. You could go through city records. And what I did actually was I went through the phone book and I called every single Murray between oh. Prescott, Prescott Valley, and Chino Valley. And oh, really? This is going to sound weird to every single one of them, but I'm looking <laughs> oh, for somebody no. who planted a tree. and. I think by the ninth call, I got to this woman, and she's like, "Oh no, it wasn't me!" But you keep trying, you, know, you keep calling those numbers, <laughs> See, and I got people really wanted it to happen. Yeah, and I got to yeah. the very last number, and nobody had said it was them. So I was like, "Well, I guess the park said we could we could build it anyway. I'll just keep the plaque and hope that when they do find out we built this bench, it'll be okay." Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and park and rec have yeah. the park plaque now, yeah. so you can have it whenever you're ready to put it in permanently. Definitely. Yeah. When we find a way to secure it, I think we should do it. <laughs> so. Oh, well that would be fine, if, if that's what you would like. Yeah. Um, I'll just do it. You know, yeah. Yeah. Good.